first secret in Book of Truth reveals plot against the Church by Masonic groups. Sunday, April 29, 2012 at 3.33 a.m. My dearly beloved daughter you have been given a gift which many would reject out of fear. Because of the graces afforded you, the strength given and the fire of the Holy Spirit, you are fully armed to proclaim the prophecies promised to the world so long ago. The prophecy given to Daniel when he was told to seal up the Book of Truth until the end times, when the contents would be revealed, has now come to be. Revelations given also to John the Evangelist were given only in part but some secrets were shown to him in the scroll of the seven seals. He was not granted the authority to disclose the contents. Instead he was instructed to put the scroll down and eat it so that the seals could not be broken nor the contents revealed until this era. By swallowing the scrolls a clue was given to humanity. Bitter to eat the truth causes fear. It can also offend those who profess to know all God's plan for humanity. Yet the truth, the powerful love that God has for every single person on this earth, is sweet for those who acknowledge the truth. The truth is that only I, Jesus Christ, can reveal the secrets given to John the Evangelist. The sweet truth will be welcomed with love by those who follow God's teachings. It may cause fear, but God's power will overcome all evil and all persecution for he can do anything. The first secret lies in the fact that God and all his works have been plotted against by Masonic groups established in the Middle Ages. Their allegiance is to the evil one. He, Satan, is their God and they are proud to pay homage to him through black masses. Then there is the Holy See, which has been under fierce attack by this group since 1967. Slowly they have infiltrated my church, not just within the Vatican, but within the ranks beyond in every country, their deliberate contamination of my church has resulted in evil atrocities inflicted on innocent victims, their love of money and power is nothing compared with the sickening devotion they show to the king of lies, Satan himself. He is openly worshipped in groups and in secret. Priests and other holy servants including bishops, cardinals have aligned themselves in certain quarters with this group. The evil acts they participate in are too serious to reveal to you but know that they offer human sacrifices to the evil one in churches set up to offer the Holy Eucharist of the Holy Mass. This group, so careful to hide their true activities from those genuine and holy priests, holy bishops, holy cardinals and other sacred servants, commit vile acts. They hate God with a ferocity that would shock you. The powers given to them by Satan has meant that their wickedness, greed, lust and sexual deviations are welcomed by their followers in all countries. They greet each other with private signals designed to show allegiance to each other. One thing is certain. Their wicked acts will come to an end and, unless they turn to me during the warning, they will have little time left before they are cast into the lakes of fire where they will suffer a terrible persecution for eternity. They have created and stirred up the apostasy that exists all over the world. They achieved this by infiltrating my church. Your beloved Jesus. Lamb of God.